So I don't really know what caused my voice to go all crackly at the end of the previous video. Well, the best theory I have, it was something, some kind of weird interference from the loading screen effect. Anyway, now we are in Egypt and we are at, at the bottom of a pyramid, it seems. Now, actually, there are platforms here which are denoted by these uh, horizontal shadows. And also snakes. Why does it have to be snakes? Because it's Egypt, you moron. Oh yeah, and we have uh, some hidden entrances. Actually, first we need to go into this one. And being Egypt and pyramids, there they naturally are plenty of traps. Whoops. Quite deadly traps. Here we have a pressure switch. Okay. And. Uh, okay. Yeah. Fortunately, some of these traps are deactivated by stepping on the same switch again, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense in my opinion, but what the hell. Now, here we have a new weapon. What does it do? It kills you. Well, it does do more than that, but we, um, we won't be using it for a while. Also, this section of Egypt is quite troublesome in that... Uh, well, as you can see, there are hardly any enemies, but your health will keep going down. Which... means... You are very likely to get killed here just from that draining health. Now, if I can remember where to go next... We do have a doorway there, but I don't think this is the right one to go into. Yeah, I remember this. Okay, whoa. Yeah, I just... Uh, let's see if I can show you why you shouldn't go into this one. Damn it, was that one of those traps that are deactivated by stepping on the same again? This is... Well, I feel like I'm... I feel like I keep repeating myself in stating how tricky this is. Actually, yeah. I think that's enough of showing. The point is you can't actually go through there that way. <clears throat> now if, oh, okay, there's, there it is. You have to go this way. And, uh, what the hell not, let's get killed, since I rather suspect... Mm. Okay, but let's not do quite that. Okay, so it's there. The timing on these bikes is sometimes a bit tricky as well. Okay, and let's... Oh boy. 
this is also rather tricky. Yeah, there we go. Okay, another one of those things coming up. And yeah, <clears throat> there we die. So let's do the, all of this again. I really hate these bikes. Mm, hello? Oh, great. So... Would that one spike retreat if we exit and enter again? Thank you. As if it wasn't obvious, you have to be pretty damn good with your timing here. Okay, that works. Also, one thing I feel like pointing out is that you can still hurt yourself on that tiny spike on the ground. Like this. Oh, that also is an instant kill. That one I did not remember. Okay, looks like there's a pressure plate here. I guess. Oh, not. Oh. Damn it. Okay. Poke goes to knife. So now we will enter this door and now we are here. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay, I do believe this should be the last trap section. Just because I don't feel like getting poked by spikes. Even though I still end up doing that. Those are bottomless pits of instant death as well. Now, okay, and this I believe is yeah one of those which. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. me but seems like the Egypt section is the one that is lightest on actual uh, mythological figures. I mean we've fought snakes, now we fight Egyptian dudes and yeah you can use the ankh on ankh carvings on the wall to create healing points. But yeah I'm that we are not fighting really anything mythological here. Just snakes and guys and traps. Um, why was that guy poking the air? Or was it trying to hit the um, vase? Now, we have a few ways to go here. I do believe we should try the top first. Oh. And here we 
have a guy who actually shoots. Hmm. Why do I still keep healing? And now we can pick up his headgear and start shooting stuff ourselves. And we pick up some kind of jars. Now what we need to do is go around and collect four jars, similar to what we just picked. And down here we shall encounter mummies, which are very dangerous. Yeah, I'll show you what happens when they touch you. Yeah. And that coupled with how tough they are, actually often the best thing to do is run away from them. And here's a guy with a staff. Hello. Don't really know why it started glowing, but whatever. Okay, we have three jars. And, um, hmm. Aha, let's go heal up. Great, I have no trouble with the retreating platform, but I completely must miss my jump to the next one. Actually, it wouldn't be all that much trouble to heal up by killing these guys with our amazing headgear, but... This will be slightly faster. And also... Now that we have such a nifty source of healing, we can show what the eye does. Yeah, it's another ranged attack, only it drains your health, so why use it? Well... We'll see that eventually. Now the tricky part is getting the jar in the bottom right. We have to go down here, because, well, the other holes in the ground will lead... Yeah, spikes. And, as in Prince of Persia, I mean the good old two-dimensional ones, you can run all past the spikes all you like, as long as you don't fall onto them. Okay, that's the last jar, and now we have to make our way back somehow. Hey! Don't you go through their moonwalk on me. So, let's see if we can... Yep. Go, 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 go. Yeah, that worked out quite nicely. spikes down here also spikes huh. I guess I get health back also from killing those projectiles now we have this thing and to be precise to kill this thing we need to use the eye oh oh dear Hey, I still had health there. Okay, let's try this again. I suppose this would finally be something relatively mythological. Just 
keep blasting it with your eyes of doom and eventually it'll go down. And now pick up this different looking jar which enables you to jump like you've never jumped before. And now we are in a bur burial chamber where we need to place these urns into the right spots. Now let's see... Okay, that was not the right spot. Yeah. I don't really know what... Uh, how you are supposed to be able to figure out what, what the right spot for each is. Oh. And you also lose all your weapons. Isn't that fun? And well, the bottom right wasn't the right for the blue one, so it has to be that. Okay, and which one have I not placed yet? Green? Nope. Um. Yellow? Yes, that was it. And now we get to fight a giant Pharaoh uh, head for some reason. Okay, I can afford to lose a life here. And now we uh, get got zapped by something from that Uriel thing. And now all of a sudden we can levitate and shoot stuff with our minds. Unfortunately, the gradually dwindling health is still in effect. Oh, damn it. Please don't tell me that was my last life. Good. Let's try to be smarter about this. That works well if works fairly well. Works fairly well. Okay. Oh, and those little spheres do hurt. Okay. Let's try to not get hit horribly to start with. Hey, don't ask me what is going on here. Ow. Okay. Don't tell me that was death. Now we'll see if this thing starts crackling up again.